always assume the best about them at the end of the day. Their intention in reality is between them and Allah. We assume the best from the outside. So if someone, for example, sees someone in whatever scenario, maybe there's a fundraiser, maybe there's some event, maybe they're, they happen to be passing by them in the hallway and they see that they're donating a huge amount, whatever that may be, right, towards, towards the masjid, towards any noble cause. So what the mu'min is supposed to do is to assume something good about them. That's a good action and to assume that the intention is good and even then the intention is between them and Allah. So the idea is to, to see it in a good way. And maybe someone, they see someone doing perhaps a smaller good deed, what seems to be a smaller good deed. Maybe someone is giving a smaller amount. Maybe it seems like a small good deed. The, the idea is the same, to assume good about others, to constantly and consistently assume good about others. And at the end of the day, it's between a person and their Lord. And, and we have our own work to put in. And that's something that needs to be internally realized. This is the attitude of the mu'min. This is the attitude of the believer. To gener to not go and, you know, to, to spy, so to speak, and to have this, you know, telescope and act as if people can zoom in on people's intentions. And in reality, that type of approach is actually, is actually something that reflects hypocrisy within that person themselves. So if someone, and this goes back to the time of Medina, when the hypocrites would see someone, if they gave a big amount, if they gave a lot in the path of Allah for the sake of Allah, their response was, they're just doing it to show off. And if somebody gave a small amount, their response was, this is such a small amount, what difference is that really going to make? So their reaction was to assume bad about the person giving a big amount and to have a bad reaction regarding someone giving a small amount. The mu'min is supposed to be different than that. Someone's giving a big amount, may Allah accept it. If someone's giving a smaller amount, may Allah accept it. The reality is the perception of the person is actually a reflection of what's going on within them. The issue in that situation is within the heart of someone who has hypocrisy within their heart. If, if they see some, that issue is within them. That has nothing to do with the intention of the person they see giving a big amount or a small amount. So the idea is to be internally aware and to make sure that we're trying our best you know, to, to, to polish that, that sacred piece of flesh to polish that heart. Because if we do put in that work, then we're going to start assuming good about others, assuming good about others. And that also makes our own lives easier. But if someone is constantly assuming bad about others, first of all, that's bad. And then second of all, they themselves internally, that ends up messing with their own internal peace. So we actually end up benefiting when we have a general good assumption of others. And then if, if someone goes in a different direction, then in reality, internally, that person ends up paying the price. The other person, they have no idea. They're just trying to do something good for the sake of Allah. Right? But the idea is, okay, how, how do we respond internally? How do we react internally if we see someone else doing something good? We should always try our best to assume good about others. Now, we do have, obviously, exceptions. If there's clear oppression, if there's dhulm, if there, that's different. We're not talking about that. We're talking about day-to-day -day circumstances, going about our lives as best we can. So we ask Allah to grant us clean hearts. We ask Allah to grant us pure hearts. And we ask Allah to protect us from the opposite. We ask Allah for that. We ask Allah for that.